Hey, how are you doing? Welcome to this numbers tutorial. In this Apple numbers tutorial, I'm going to show you how to um, a few a few tricks and tips with formatting in a um, in a spreadsheet. So I've had quite a few questions recently about formatting dropping off a spreadsheet. So I'm just going to show you a few keystrokes in order to maintain your formatting, which might help you a little bit speed up your productivity with your tables or your spreadsheets, whatever you want to call them. Okay. So let me just take my self off the screen there we go and um, let's um, let's make it really simple for you so I've just got a table here blank table I'm just gonna shorten this down get rid of the table name just double click it um, and let me just put name here just as a header and then here we'll use date so in the question that I was asked was when um, somebody's copying I can only assume that they're they're copy and pasting from a different source into numbers and it's not carrying over sort of formatting. So it's not recognizing that it's a date. So I'm gonna show you how to, so this cell here, I'm just gonna write name zero, just pretend it's a name. And then here, I'm gonna write a date. Be aware, this is something to be aware of, right? If you write a date like this, say for instance, 23rd of September, I don't know why I wrote the at sign, 2020, I used to be able to type, and click out of the cell. It will never recognize this September because it's not universal with a T on the end. So just, just remember things, that little tip like that is, is great um, little information is that SEPT is not the abbreviation for September, it's SEP. Okay, so just, just remember that. So if I wrote 23rd of September in there, 20, it will automatically recognize that it's a number or a date and move it over to the right hand side of the cell. And if I highlight that cell, again, another top tip, if I double click this cell like this, I'm gonna get the cursor flashing. If you got the cursor flashing, it's then going to affect the text within the cell, not the cell itself, okay? So not the data within the cell or the way the cell's formatted. Double click, cursor flashing will affect the text, not the action within the cell, not the formatting within the cell. So we just want a single click to highlight the cell. We're gonna come over here to format and then we're gonna to go to cell. And then here it's automatically recognized that it's a date, okay? but we wanna just make sure it does by changing the automatic to date. And now here we have a date and time, say defaults to this. We want to remove the time, so none in this instance. I don't want the time. If I wanted to show it with the day as well, but the shortened day, I would ask it, I would put it with the day and it will automatically pick up and know from the system details that the 23rd of September is gonna be a Wednesday. So it'll pick out the day for you as well, okay? So now, if I was going to, let's say for instance, let's a little bit longer here. If I was going to um, import data from this and I wanted it to copy this format and maintain the formatting that I've used here, i.e. this is bold and this is a date like this over here. Get this because in here, there's no formatting, right? If we look at the, if we look at the format on the inspector, it's just automatically automatic. There's no formatting. So if we copied and pasted something in there with the wrong kind of um, text in there, it wouldn't pick up the formatting for us. And we'd have to keep coming over here to this, to the inspector, changing the formatting gets a little bit messy. So remember, don't double click affects the text, single click highlight. The important bit here is the date. Yeah highlight the date and you get this little yellow anchor button. Drag that all the way down. It could be two cells, it could be 20 cells, it doesn't matter. Because when we paste the information in, it will just create more rows for us anyway. Okay, so now you can see that it's copied the dates in, but I don't care about the dates because I'm gonna import the dates from somewhere else. What I care about is the formatting behind the dates. So I could click in any of these cells and these cells actually could be blank, but I could click into any of these cells 
and over here in the format in the inspector it's still got the same formatting that we copied from the first cell so if i click in the fifth cell the fifth row it's still got the same formatting that i copied from the first cell in sheet two i'm just going to drag some formatting i got from name one to um to here i'm going to copy all of this i'm going to press command c on my keyboard which copies it now if i put my cursor here now this is a good example of if i've got the cursor flashing here in my cell if i've got the cursor flashing here in my cell and i press command v it's going to copy all the information into that cell right i'm going to press command z to undo command z if you're in another country command z to undo and all i'm going to do is not put my cursor in the cell i'm going to single click into the cell now if i press command v it will paste all that information for me but remember i haven't got the formatting so if i click this date here and i go to format into the cell it's given me a date but it's the wrong way around i don't want it that way around i want it this way around okay so i'm gonna press command z again to undo that and now what i'm gonna do i'm gonna not my cursor i'm just gonna highlight the cell and i'm gonna sh press shift option command v and it will paste the information for me with all of the same formatting. Now you notice what's happening here. Why is it not giving me this formatting down here that it's given me up here? The reason is because I didn't have, if I press command Z, I didn't have enough cells created here. Look, so there's another great tip. So what you need to do is you can do it this way. You can either look in the sheet and go, how many cells have I got here? 55. So in this spreadsheet, it'll be 56 because I've got the first one at the top, right? So then I can drag this down. I'm just dragging it down. I'm going to make 56 cells or more. It doesn't matter. It will just keep replicating it. Highlight here, shift, shift, option, command, V. And now it will highlight all of the information for me. So just remember you need the correct amount of cells. It's just a, just a little sort of, I don't know, glitch in trick. I don't know, whatever you want to call it. It just doesn't, you know, it just, it will copy the data for you, but it won't copy the formatting for you all the way through if you've not already created those cells. So you don't have to create the cells to, to copy the data information, but you do have to copy you do have to create the cells to copy the formatting as well. I know this is quite confusing um, maybe on the first go around, but just go back, watch it again and you will um, you, you will you will get that. So I hope this um, tutorial has not confused you too much and I hope it's helped you out. Um, if you have any questions about this formatting, give me a shout. Um, but just remember to create enough cells to copy the formatting across. Shift Command V will copy your formatting as well. It doesn't matter whether you've got colors, whatever that format is that you've put into that first cell, as long as you copy it through, it will copy it for you. Take care, I'll, um, I'll speak to you all soon, bye.